All right, so the next thing we are going to work on here is on top of these two pieces of furniture. We are down in technically the gym, um, but in here we have board games and things like that. But this is where all of my <laughs> party supplies have kind of ended up. Um, so I'm going to try to organize this today as much as I can. Um, and I think I am going to donate this because I got it, but I have yet to use it. So seemed like a good idea, but I haven't used it yet. Uh, this was on my wedding registry, so I do want that. And then I think there's a a blender back there that was also that I also put on my wedding registry and I've still yet to use um, oh, and that's a deep fryer same story um, but yeah so all right let's see what we can do with all of this stuff All right, so we're all done. I tucked my punch bowl all the way at the bottom since I only use it like once a year. Then I put all different sets into these 24 cup Tupperwares and I still have an empty one, so that's exciting. And then up here I put, um, I had like two, oh, that thing keeps falling two banner kits here that I put um, and some cutouts for a Hollywood themed party. That's all part of my 90, 95% off party city, whatever that was. Um, as are these giants things and then this Hollywood art, wall art for the party as well. Um, you know what? I think I'm just going to hang that up in my movie room. So these other things are, hold on, let me show you. So these like game day type <laughs> headwear things. And I do have three of them. I got them at ridiculous prices. Again, all part of the uh, Party City stuff. I think they were like 10 or 15 cents each. That's a headband. Um... So I haven't taken them off the cardboard yet because I don't know if I'll ever end up having an opportunity to gift them. And this is another giant headband with like little helmets and the little horns and stuff. Um, the reason why I had them facing the other way is because see, I don't want to come down here and these faces on the wall scare the ever loving crap out of me or my husband who doesn't even know that they're up there right now. So. Um, I'm trying to just kind of hang them backwards. I just put a thumbtack up on the wall. Up there. Okay. slide those back there and hopefully those just stay out of the way um, okay so that's all done and again like I said I have room there then here is all of my New Year's Eve themed stuff and I think also some more of the Hollywood things as well Yeah, for like a Hollywood party. I've always wanted to have one. I think I want to have like an Oscars party. Anyway, then in here I have some birthday stuff, right? 12 piece black and glitter tiaras. Also the party city stuff. Um, that was from Dollar Tree. So was this giant hat. So were these little hats. And then I have all my balloon weights here. Um, this black happy birthday banner from Dollar Tree because again I love black 
uh, what else we got? These Celebrate picks. That was also a Party City going out of business purchase. And then I have three of these new old stock uh, musical uh, little present lights. So I actually have three of those. And I'm so happy I own those because they are amazing and so nostalgic. All right, so that is that. And then I recently purchased the uh, sashes, the birthday sashes from Dollar Tree. So that will also go into this little bin as well. The little sashes. I just stuck my trifle bowl back here because I do need some type of access to it. Um, so then this is just kind of random. This is 4th of July, but these are random plates and stuff and uh, little cocktail forks that won't fit in a bin, those plates. So that's why those are there. Um, this is all giant stuff. All giant plates and napkins and cups. And then there's another whole entire party pack set that he got for Christmas one year from his brother. Okay, if they ever make the Super Bowl again, we'll be good to go. Um, let me just, in comparison, this is the only cowboy stuff I have. Yeah, three packs of napkins. I think that was a party city find too, if I'm not mistaken. Um, and then these are my little bowl covers because that I usually use them during parties. And then coffee cups, disposable coffee cups. These I just purchased recently because I thought they were adorable for like wine. Um, and more plastic cups. So I, those are just extras. I put those. These I have no clue what to do with. These are extra favors from my wedding. <laughs> so they're personalized mugs. And yeah, I have like eight left. And I don't know. Whatever. And that's the remote control to my uh, Bluetooth speaker. Anyway. So yeah, but a lot better than it was. And I'm, I'm happy with it. At least it's more organized. I mean, I think it still kind of looks like poo, but it's more organized. All right, so that's it, guys. Another job done. Let's move on. The next huge project we're getting into is my gift area, and I ordered these bad boys to help. Hi, Henny. All right, so this is what they look like out of the box. I got these from Walmart.com for $14.99 each, which I thought was a really good deal. I ordered two of them. They do come with four casting wheels for the bottoms, but I am not going to be using them. So this is it, and let's go down to the gift area. All right, so this is the gift stash. Okay. This is where we hang our clothes that we don't want to put in the dryer. This is a root cellar in my house, but I use it for my everything storage room. I used to have a system for my gifts, but it failed me miserably. So, as you can see, only one of these fit on each rack. I knew that ahead of time. I went ahead and put up the second one too, because I feel like I need to work with them both together. It's done! and I love it so much so I organized the drawers some is miscellaneous and then other is like certain parts of my family and stuff and then this bin that I just stuck right there and the the Tupperware on top that's like toys for tots toy drives birthday parties etc I don't really have a better place for that and unfortunately a lot of the stuff that I got's really big they're like big boxes so that's that and yes and I didn't put those shampoos and conditioners in because they were just way too heavy so yes oh my god it looks so nice and neat and there's still room to hang clothes like we usually use it for so yay oh my god I'm so I love this I love this so much all right I'm done moving on all right, so the next thing I'm going to attempt to tackle are stickers. Now, I have tons of stickers to the point where I'm actually starting to detest them. Um, you know, it's a love and hate relationship. But I feel like they're overrunning everything. A lot of them have been mailed to me. Um, obviously, some of them I purchased. But I want to try to minimize them as much as possible and everything that I've tried 
has not really worked. So uh, Patty from Patty's Chance Holes drew my attention to a video done um, by Jennifer Moen over a year ago um, that I guess I missed, but she purchased these cases and then cut each individual sticker off of the acetate and then categorized them into category and labeled the little boxes. So these are called picture and craft storage boxes. I purchased mine from Michael's uh, online and I lucked out and they were on sale for $12.50 each. The retail price on the Michael's website was $42.99. I think last time I checked they're at $14.99 but I did luck out and get them at $12.50. So I bought four two clear ones for my pictures and then two with rainbow colored boxes for my stickers so i'm gonna attempt to do that now cut them all off of the acetate um and categorize them so we shall see what happens if this works how many it holds i don't know but i bought two of each color so i have two of the rainbow colored cases for the stickers so all right let's see what happens and let me not leave you hanging and just show you. So this is the rainbow colored one that I'm going to use for my stickers. Three hours later, uh, this box was completely full of sticker packs all standing up. So that's how many were actually in here. And I was able to consolidate them into these two cases and I labeled them. The hardest part for me was actually trying to make categories, which I had a feeling would be a problem but and then also i have whole sheets here so it's really convenient that those um packs that we get from dollar tree that have like 96 in them like the small ones those whole sheets fit perfectly in one of these little containers so um i have some weird categories here I had no idea i had enough unicorns to actually make its own box but that's how you find out so this is like words and sayings uh, more than one for flowers this is random animals and then one for dogs one for cats birds bugs and leaves butterflies farmhouses well mason jar red truck things of that nature girly girl is like diamonds and rainbows and lipsticks and makeup and you know girly girl three for sweets guys three shows you where the obsession is two for food one for drinks, so one whole one for coffee, which, sorry, not sorry. And then kitchen and baking themed is separate. So overall, I'm very happy with it. I might have to expand to a third one in the future. Uh, maybe not. Or, you know, I could just limit myself to this and that way have a limit. And let me just actually just show you one, how I cut them off of there. Well, not off, but I cut the acetate or the backing to have them all individual. So you can see here, it's just all individual stickers. I'm very happy and I'm very happy I got them on clearance for $12.50 each. I cannot believe these things retail for $42.99 normal price. I think that's insanity. But all right, so this project is done and now moving on. Sticking with that same theme while I'm at it. So here are my two clear cases and these are all of my physical photos. And I do plan on developing more. I use free prints where I can just select them right off my phone and get them delivered um, at my house at, in any size. I love them. So now I'm just going to go ahead and put them in here. I'm thinking it's going to be a lot easier and a lot quicker than the stickers. So here was success. So all the pictures that were in these. This one is full. These are a lot heavier than the stickers, obviously. And oh wait, no, this one is full. And this one has two, four, six still available. So all right, also done. The next huge organization project that has to be done is my son's bedroom. So I've taken out all of his clothes, winter and summer. He no longer uses this changing table, so that will be a, a bookshelf. And I purchased him a second dresser from Wayfair, which is going to help greatly. And this is his old bookshelf, which used to be right there. I don't know if I'm going to leave it here or not. I don't know what I'm going to do with it. We shall see. 
But yeah, so now I have a second dresser to work with and I have to clear out all of the stuff, make the changing table his bookshelf. Let's go. All right. It is all done. It took about uh, four hours. I'm not going to lie. So now we have a new bookshelf, which used to be the changing table. And I have plenty of room to uh, still add books to that. His second dresser is all full as well and all nice and organized. His old bookshelf is now storing other stuff with the furry cubes that I purchased from Dollar Tree. And he did a little art project while I was working. So that is that. And yeah, he did need both dressers. But summer and winter are both out, so... Everything is all put away and cleared and organized, and it makes me super happy. But he definitely needed that second dresser. That striped bag is full of his stuffed animals. And over here on the closet, I'm actually using this for shoes now. This used to have random stuff in it, but now it has shoes. So this was a huge project I was dreading, but it is finally done, and I am so happy just knocking them out all right the next little project that has been irking me for quite a while is the kitchen counter i uh kind of hate it so i'm thinking of getting the air fryer out of there because it takes up way too much space um i have a new bread basket and i might use that little basket for something else and i also have this little fear uh three tier tray that I wanted to kind of incorporate in there as well. So I'm going to start moving things around and arranging them and see if we can do something a little better over here. I switched a few things around again I decided not to use that other basket there I went for a little different look with the metal tray uh, it actually has nautical rope handles then I added that little bucket with our power bars because I'm clearing out another section I switched the signs around and did a little more on the theater three I can never say that three tiered tray um, I put some um, I added this is my favorite creamer that I own I am in love with this thing and then I added a little dish of teas back here as well I thought that went nicely and yeah I'm happy with it so another job done moving on the next thing, um, if you saw me haul these metal paper trays from Dollar Tree, as well as the clear adhesive hooks, I have them up on the wall in my closet. 
and the plan is to use them for my sunglasses so I am going to go ahead and just hook on some sunglasses to this now perfection so they are all beautifully up there let me show you exactly where this is too so this is up all the way up almost near the ceiling of the top of one of my dressers luckily i'm tall and i can reach it no problem so yes i am absolutely loving this okay awesome moving on so this next thing isn't exactly organization, but I figured I would stick it in here. I have these two foam dry erase blocks from the teaching tree at Dollar Tree. And what I want to do is I want to do chores on one. This is also from Dollar Tree, this dry erase marker. We're going to see how it works out. I want to do chores on the yellow one and then rewards on another one for doing those chores. I'll just write all different things on all the sides of the blocks and then have my son roll for the chore and then roll for what reward he will get for doing that chore. So I'm going to use red for rewards because of my slight OCD. And yeah, so now I'm just going to go ahead and think of things and write on each side of them. All right, so I switched to a Sharpie because the dry erase marker would come off before I was even done writing. So I put on a few age appropriate I messed that one up, whatever. A few little age-appropriate chores for my son. And then I put some rewards and asked him to choose the last one. And I left that in dry erase, and uh, that's what he chose. I asked him, and that's what he picked. So I think that's very sweet. And here they are. And he could just roll both of them for chores and rewards. So that's going to do it for part four four of this everyone and I will link the first three parts down below in the description box.